All right, guys, another little tutorial. I'm going to talk about order of operations. And you'll notice I put a problem at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to enter that problem in here. Um, so mostly you're going to use your regular symbols. Your calculator knows the proper order to follow. The only thing you'll notice is there's parentheses on it. There's the open. There's the close. That's so that it knows it needs to do that first, okay? So the calculator is going to follow the general order of operations if you plug everything in correctly correctly. So all you need to do is plug it in. So I want to go ahead and take a look at the problem that I've given you right here. So what I'll notice is that it's, it's set up in fraction form. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my fraction button. And I can put a whole bunch of numbers on this top. So now I'm just going to look at the top. It says in parentheses, I'm adding 6 plus negative 2. And you'll notice I didn't put the negative 2 in parentheses. It's only written in parentheses on paper so that we don't get confused. The calculator knows that it's adding negative 2. If I do it that way, I don't need the extra set of parentheses. It won't hurt if I put them in there. Divided by 7. Plus 3 squared. Plus I'm going to hit 3, and then since it's squared, I'm just going to hit my x squared button right here. I could use the caret as well. And you'll notice, I'm going to hit down to get to the denominator, that the top number, that the numerator looks just like what I've asked us to do here. Right? So now let's enter in the bottom part. The bottom says negative 2 plus negative 4. Negative 2 plus negative 4. And again, you'll notice I didn't put the negative 4 in parentheses. The calculator doesn't need me to. Now that I have it all entered in, if I hit enter, it's going to do the entire problem for me to simplify it. All right, so it takes a lot of the um, uh, calculations that you would have to do out, but the thing you really need to make sure if you're going to use your calculator is that you're entering everything in in the proper order, grouping together the things that need to be grouped together.